Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And we've got some hot news for you from Harbor Freight. They've dropped not one, but two new items in the Bauer lineup. Now, granted, they're not 20 volt, but check this out. We got a new 10 inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. For those of you who don't know, uh, Harbor Freight, for as far as their sales go, their items, the uh, the miter saws are one of their top sellers, and uh, I know the, uh, the the Chicago Electric for a long time has been a, a big earner for them, and the Hercules has just blown everyone away with the quality that it has, comparing itself and and meeting or exceeding Dewalt in many different ways, uh, and I've recommended it highly over the past couple of years, and now we've got this 10 inch Bauer. I'm truly excited about this. I'll be honest. They've had the 10 inch Chicago electric. Now I love the old Chicago 12 inch electric. It's one of the things that got me shopping at Harbor Freight. The 10 inch, not so much. I have been down on this thing. I think it is a wobbly piece of junk. I'm not a fan of it. I know a lot of you do like it. And if you do, that's great. The bear is not a fan of it. But this, this looks like a solid piece of equipment here. In fact, let's jump into the details a bit more with this. Let's take a look at the specs and the stuff they've got on this. So we got 15 amp, 4,500 RPM front bevel control. You know I'm a big fan of that. I always talk about it. it's nice to have that on the front so you don't have to reach around the back. You're not fiddling with it. You're not off balance and leaning past the blade and all that kind of stuff. That's fantastic. But check this out right here. Shadow cut line guide system. That's all right. That's the same the same thing. I'm too excited. I'm stumbling over my words here. It's the same thing that we see on on the the Hercules. It's the same thing we see on the Dewalt and some of the the Milwaukee stuff. That's a big feature to find in a in a entry budget priced 10 inch uh, sliding miter saw. I'm excited about that. So we've got 60 degree miter right, 52 degree miter left, and 10 positive stops. Uh, it's got sliding and locking head, provides up to 12 and a, and a half inches of cross cut capacity. It's got a, a 1 and 15, 30 seconds dust port. Uh, you, you know what the bear thinks about those, the dust ports, the dust bags. They never seem to work on these except for the really, really high end systems. Uh, the horizontal D handle, yeah, that's nice. You know, it, it, most of them have that these days. Uh, electric blade stop. That's nice having that, knowing that that blade's going to stop moving within you know a second or so of of letting off the power. That's a great safety feature. Quick adjust blade clamp included. That's of course to hold down your material and everything else. Miter detent override lever so you can easily slide it back and forth. Built-in sliding extension tables with material stops. I like that. I I think having if you're going to have slide outs on on the table, they need to be significant uh, rather than just the wire ones. As, again, like we saw. And what I'm talking about here is when you look at this, the these are just they're just wired you know rods coming out the side rather than actually having a little piece of, of table that slides out, and especially having the stops on it as well. Makes that great. we got a four and a half inch tall sliding fence. That's fantastic. Now note the blade is sold separately on this. So you're not getting a blade with this one like you are with the Admiral and like you are with the Hercules. I'm a little disappointed about that, uh, especially considering the price. It would have been nice if it came in at $200 with a blade, but still, we gotta wait and see what the sale price is, is gonna be. And we also know when Harbor Freight launches new stuff, they often, the price is often kinda a little higher than we might like, and they let the price settle down. I guess that's easier than coming in too low and trying to raise the price. That would really tick some folks off, huh? But anyway, let's step through some of the pictures we got here. You can take a look at it. Classic profile there. Uh, it, it's a good looking tool, especially if you like the Bauer Red. And there you can see the miter controls, the miter override, and of course here on the left, that is your front control for the bevel. That's fantastic. All right, let's see what else this thing's got. Uh, you know, not the easiest to read gauge. I, I prefer the uh, the Hercules, but, you know, it'll do, it'll do. And, uh, of course, then you have your lock features there for the sliding tubes on the back. Uh, let's see what else they got for us. And, of course, they got to show us some, you know, in, in action kind of shots there. Looks like some good clearance there, you, I got to say. And... Uh, I mean, if it's got the if it's got the motor to handle it, you know, that would be great if you could be able to make cuts like this. Anyway, I'm excited about this because 
I love seeing them expand the miter saw options. The miter saws, sliding miter saw is really taken over uh, shops these days. Of course, the radial arm saw is next to nowhere to be found. Almost no one has them in their shops. I know a few of you do. I know a few of you are going to say, but hey, I've got one. But the fact of the matter is, this has become one of the primary tools in, in the modern shop. And that's easily reflected by how many sliding miter saws and, and regular miter saws that Harbor Freight offers. Now, if we look at this again, we got the, uh, we'll go over the specs real quick. The three and a half inch by 12 and a half inch horizontal cut line capacity, five and a half inch vertical baseboard capacity. It's got the shadow line feature. That's, that's fabulous. Double bevel design with oversized scale markings. Eh. Uh, front bevel control. That's great. You know, I'm a huge fan of that miter gauge. Uh, high output 15 amp motor. Well, I guess we'll have to see once we get our paws on it, huh? Uh, built in extension tables and electronic brake. That's everything we talked about before. There's the SKU if you're trying to look it up. I tried to find it in my area. It's not out. I looked in Vegas. It's not out. If you run, uh, if you run across it and it's in your area, why don't you put a comment down below? Let people know where it is. I don't have any info on this as to when it's going to come, when it's going to reach your stores or any of that kind of stuff. They roll out as they roll out. Uh, and right now everything's taking longer. It's, it's 2020 guys and gals. We all know how that's going to be. All right. And the next item they have up is a Bauer heater. Yeah. I'll be honest. I never expected. I had no inklings about this. Nobody hinted to me that this was coming. This one to caught me totally off, off guard. The Bauer 30,000 to 60,000 BTU forced air propane portable heater. And he, I like it. They say glove friendly uh, controls. Anyway, let's just step through some of the pictures on this thing. It's a pretty simple item. Uh, you know, you just hook it up to your propane tank. You hook it up to some electricity that that powers the blower. Uh, it's got a push button start on it. So it, it instantly heats up. This thing will heat up some space incredibly quickly. Now, the one thing I will say is this is not a quote unquote indoor heater. You can use it in a shop space, but it needs to be a big shop space that's well ventilated. You don't want to use this in a small shop. At least I've not seen anything about it saying that it's it's suitable for that. I wouldn't use this in your home and I wouldn't use it in a small shop because it's going to put off uh, some fumes and such. And it may not be the safest thing for you. So, uh, again, large spaces well ventilated that's where you want to use this and it puts out a ton of heat you know it, that's what it's going to do 60,000 BTU that's a lot of heat heats up an area up to 1,350 square feet up to 10 hours of operation with a 20 pound protein propane tank quick start electric ign uh, ignition for fast heat delivery glove friendly control design <laughs> there's not much to it adjustable heat angle directors uh so you can you can angle the heat where you need it to go 10 foot hose which is nice uh with the regulator included and uh you know so if you've been looking for something to keep your shop uh warm this winter this may be the way to go anyway just want to keep you guys all up to date on what's going on out here anyway you all take care god bless and as always shine on